Hello, Mr. Clark. I'm here Hello. to help you, assist you with lunch today. Okay. 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 I'm going to put you up. Okay. All right. You're not too far. I have a, a sore back. When positioning patients for their meals in a chair or wheelchair, follow the 90 degrees rule. Okay. There okay, we then. go. I'm just going to put this on you. Use at least two identifiers to confirm that you are assisting the right patient. For example, you can ask them about their name and check their arm rest band. I want to make sure I have the right patient. Okay. Okay. Right. So we'll come sure. around here. Position the meal tray within 12 inches from the plate to mouth. We'll put it down a bit. Remove unnecessary items to reduce clutter and disinfect the patient's bedside table before the meal tray arrives. We'll move this. Yeah, just so we have room for your your sure. food when it comes. Okay. Sure. I'm going to clean off your table too. Your lunch tray has arrived. Great. There, it smells wonderful. What did I get? Let's look on your meal ticket. And let's see what we have. Oh, you have chicken thighs, some carrots, and some mashed potato. Looks good. Does that sound good? Looks good. We've also got a pudding for you. Mm hmm And some milk, and oh, there's some gravy. Would you okay. like the gravy on all the over? On the potatoes and on the chicken, please. Okay, I will do that. There we go. Does that look good? That's great. That's enough. And your soup is still very hot. Okay. So we'll keep it till later, okay? okay? And, your, right. and your tea too. Okay, Dean, I'm just going to clear out some of these containers right. so we have lots of room. Okay. Okay, could you help cut my chicken? Sure, I can. And that. There. It smells very good. It does. Good to eat it when it's still warm, right? Yes. Use the hand-over-hand -hand approach and verbal encouragement to help initiate feeding. This strategy keeps the patient involved in the eating process. It provides support to hold the spoon, but yet let the patients do most of the work. As the patient is able to hold the spoon, support can be given around the patient's hand rest or elbow by directing the food into their mouth. Okay. Good. Excellent. And try the carrots. We'll have some carrots. And then we'll give you a drink. There you go. Great. Let's try some of your insure. There. I'll, I'll assist you there. There you go. That's very good for you. What next? The carrots? Yeah. They're nice and bright orange. Good for you. Would you like to try some more mashed potatoes there? Sure. There, great, great. Make sure a patient's mouth is clear before offering the next bite of food or fluid. Great. Good, thank you, Dean. I'll have some more chicken. Well, why don't we try some of the insurer here? Okay. Okay. I'll give that to you. Yeah. Well, oh, that's all right. Good, not too much. Good. Great. Excellent. Would you like some milk? Yes, please. I can pour Thank it you. in a cup for you. Okay. There we go. There you go. There's some milk. Good, good job. You can eat the chicken, that's no problem. It's very good in, with protein, just like you're insure. There you go, good. That's a big piece. Make sure you chew that really well. Mm. 
Let's see. Your mouth is empty. Mm -hmm. Encourage patients to eat and drink as much as possible. Leave unfinished supplements fluid or thickened fluids at the bedside prior to removing the tray. There you go. And I'll give you a spoon. There you go. I'm going to move it a bit closer to you. There you go. Good. How's that taste? It's good. Good? There you go. Good. Good job. Now, would you like me to leave your pudding so yes. that you can eat? Yeah, I'll have that later. I'll put that there with your tea. I will okay, leave your you. tea and your custard on the side, okay? Okay, that's good. And you can eat those later on. I'm yes. just going to write down how much you ate of everything for our records. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. I'll take your tray. There you go. Great. Have a good day, Dean. Thank you, Chris. You're welcome. Could you put me down, back down? Oh, actually, we have to keep you upright. Encourage the patients to stay sitting upright for at least 30 minutes following their meal in order to reduce the risk of indigestion, reflux, or aspiration. <laughs>